food that food made us. So our body needs needs food, needs water, needs drink. But the soul, the soul is you know a command from the Creator. So therefore, you know the soul to be nourished, to find peace, to find to find tranquility, it needs a relationship with the Creator. Sorry, Sahara. No problem. Come, come here. Oh, it's a pillow, that's that one, yeah. Sahara, come. No problem, no problem. Yeah. So, you know, the soul, the Quran, verse, the Quran says very clearly that verily the soul, it finds peace in the remembrance of Allah. Because Allah created us and Allah created us with the purpose to recognize Him and to know Him. So when we uh, obey Him, when we remember Him, when we think about Him, when we talk about Him, then you know, a sakina, tranquility comes down. Yeah. So that's, that's the reason. I would say this is a, a lesson for you to look into, or a sign for you to look into more. Yeah, I want to, yeah, definitely. What do you believe at the moment? Nothing. Uh, well, I don't want to say nothing. It's just I believe in spirituality. Okay. And I believe that there's a force that's higher than all of us. Okay. So you do you believe that that force is like a creator? Yeah, he he the made us. Coming from, yeah, somewhere. Oh, and that that energy, that spiritual power, does it have knowledge? Does it have ability? Does it intend things? Okay, this is what we would call God. That He made us by His ability, by His power, by His choice. But then. Everything around us has a purpose, like the sun, the moon, the stars, the rain, the food we eat. Everything has a purpose. But what is our purpose? The Quran says very clearly, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبَدُونَ It mentions that Allah says, I did not create jinn, which is a separate creation, and mankind, except to worship me. We have been created to recognize God and to live our life in a way which is pleasing to God, that's worshipping Him. How do we know that? We believe He sent messengers. You know, like you've heard of Noah, Abraham, Moses, Jesus. And as Muslims, we believe in the a last Prophet, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, peace be upon all of them. And they taught us how to live our life. Who is our, they taught us main, mainly three things. Who is our Creator? How do we live a life which is pleasing to Him? How do we... And lastly, what happens when we meet him? Because obviously everyone has to leave this world. No one's going to stay forever. And after, after we pass away, we have to return to him. So these things have been taught by the, the, the messengers and prophets. How does that sound? It makes sense? It's reasonable? Okay, so that's what I would say. So, you don't mind. So, you know the word Islam? Islam it means submission. So it's an Arabic word. So a Muslim is someone who submits to God. And we say that all of the messengers, as I mentioned, like Noah, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad, yeah. peace be upon them, we don't, we don't say they brought different religions or different ways of life. They all brought the same way of life, which is submission to the will of God. We believe in Him, we worship Him alone, and we try our best to fulfill His commandments, and we try our best to stay away from the prohibitions. When a person does this, because they know their purpose in life, you'll find the person has tranquility. They have comfort in their life. And also they know why they're here. And also in every aspect of our life, because our Creator created us, He knows what's good for us. So when He says to do something... No problem. When our Creator tells us to do something, it's for our benefit. When the Creator forbids us from something, such as adultery, alcohol, lying and cheating, all these things are bad for us. So that's the basic teaching of Islam. Does it, does it make sense? It does, yeah. I'll definitely look into it. I just didn't know what it meant, because obviously, like I said, I'm not a religious yeah. person. Yeah. But it's what, you know, it means. But you know, religion, religion it, means the way, it means the belief you have in the way of life. Yeah. Do you not think we should have a belief in a way of life? Yes, I do, yeah. And if we don't, then it's like we're just, we're lost in darkness. No problem, I understand. But do you have any have, do you have any more questions or? No, no, I just wanted to know the meaning of that. Okay. Thank you very much. I'll definitely look into it. No problem. I'll, I'll give you a Quran to read and some leaflets. Okay. Yeah. But can I just 
just for, for your mind, just to compare why we believe Islam is the only true religion. If you look at the religions in the world today, the main ones are obviously Islam, Christianity, Judaism, Hinduism, Buddhism. Others, they generally fall under these or they're very odd, they're very peculiar. But the Quran mentions very clearly in the deen, in the Allah Islam, that the religion with God, with Allah is Islam. That's the only religion. Because there can't be one God, but then he's left people to choose their own way. Or he's, he can't send messengers, but all of them come with different ways. So, you know, in Christianity, the reason why we don't believe Christianity is true is generally they received a messenger, Jesus, who was sent to the, the lost sheep from the tribe of Israel. And he called them to worship one God. But they made him into God and they began to worship Jesus. Even though J Jesus had a God and he worshipped a God. And also we believe that all mankind, we have our own relationship with God. We don't need someone else to die for our sins or be sacrificed for us. We have our own relationship. So I would say these reasons would show that Islam, uh, Christianity is not true. Judaism is a, is a national, is a tribal religion. You have to be from that particular tribe. Otherwise, they don't believe the messengers were sent to you. To be a Jew, you have to reject Jesus. You have to reject Muhammad. So we don't believe that is correct. Even though Moses brought the truth, but we're saying that they changed it. As for Hinduism, you know, they have multiple gods, multiple statues. Some of them, they say there's only one God, but he manifests in so many different ways. So they will have, you know, various gods. And we're saying that these idols, you, you worship, they can't help you, they can't harm you, they cannot benefit you, so they're not worthy of worship. And Buddhism generally it doesn't believe in a God, it doesn't explain why we're here. That's why we'd say Islam is the only true religion. What, what do you think about? I'm not. It's sensible, it's just, you know, it's, that's the thing that's quite debatable, isn't it? Because everyone is trying to, uh, everyone is trying to. I, everyone will say everyone will say their, their own way is right. Yeah, exactly. yeah. So I think that it shouldn't be like from what I think, and it shouldn't be anyone advising or wanting you to be from a certain religion. It should be yeah. yourself looking into what you feel uh -huh. like it's the right one for you. Yeah. So because I've been in growing up, I've been in uh, Catholic school. I've been okay. in Christian things, okay. and I never. You know, it just never spoke to me. To be okay. Honest. I always felt like the story just seemed a bit far fetched. You know? Okay. So, yeah. And so, yeah, that's basically. But you still look like you're searching. Yeah. So, the truth must be out there. Oh, huh? The truth must be out there. Yeah, I mean, it is. <laughs> yeah. But. Is there any barriers which is stopping you or. No, it's just me finding peace and tranquility with what I believe, in a sense, and yeah. what feels comfortable to me. Yeah. So this is why I had that question, because I felt like every time I feel a, a particular way or a certain way, yeah. that's what my mind, or that, that's what, like, I just feel driven to do that. Yeah. You know, to listen to the listen Quran. To the Quran. But I don't know why, because like I said, I don't understand okay. it. But that's what I, yeah. Have, have you read the translation? Like when you... No, I never read the translation. I think when you, like some, some of the videos you're watching with Quran, they will have the Quran playing and they may have the English, Walaikum Tullah, running along the bottom. Yeah. Because then you'll get the benefit of the beauty of the words, yes. but also you'll get the meaning. Yeah, so then I would know what they say. Yeah. yeah. I, I know you got your, your baby with you, yeah. so it's very hard to concentrate. But yeah. let me just very briefly tell you what we believe the Quran is. Give me one second. No problem. So the Quran, it means something which is recited. Yeah. The Quran means something which is recited often. So we believe all the messengers, they receive books. Like Moses received the Torah, David, he received the Psalms, Jesus received the book, the Injil. But these books, which the Christians and the Jews have it today in their hands, for so many reasons, they're not the original. Yeah. They've been added to, things have been changed, things have been taken out. Like for example, we believe Jesus was given a book. Now the Christians have 27 books of the New Testament yeah. and they will tell you all of them are written after Jesus. Yeah. And the ma majority of them are written by anonymous authors. They don't know the authors. 13 are, are said to be written by Paul, who never met Jesus, except he claims a vision. But 
the Quran was we're saying that the Quran was sent down from Allah, the word of Allah, to the angel Gabriel, to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and it's been memorized and preserved as it was sent down. And I don't know if you've seen, you know, there's hundreds of thousands of people they memorize Quran. So for example, if I recite Quran now and I make a mistake, someone listening without even reading, they will correct me. So the book, the book has been preserved. And then this is, so this is, it's not the word of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. It's not the words of the Muslim scholars. It's only the word of Allah. That's why, because he's our creator, he's the most merciful, the most kind. That's why when we listen to his words, like you said, you find the peace and tranquility. But the Quran is not only for the beauty and the reward of reading, but it's a complete book of guidance. Like it, will, it will tell a person how to live their life, uh, what, what we should believe in, what we believe about God, what we believe about messengers, about angels, about the Day of Judgment, uh, how to worship, how to pray, how to fast, how to perform pilgrimage, how to conduct ourselves, how to treat your parents, how to treat your children, how to treat your husband, how to treat your wife, how to live in a society, uh, how to how to be clean, how to be pure, how to eat. Islam has a complete way of life, how to run a government, how to deal with your enemies, how to deal with your friends, how to make war, how to make peace. It, it's complete. So I, I would advise you, you know, take your time and look into it, but be serious. Um, do you have any questions? Or, but you can, if you believe it to be correct, then you should accept it. What do you think? Yeah, the thing, I don't know. I feel like I need to... Because, like you said, it's about being serious. I don't want to take on something and I'm not 100% uh, beginning and then leave it halfway because I feel I don't want to do it anymore. Of course. So that's why, until I would be ready to actually commit to it and see Okay, no it, problem. Yeah, I would still look into it and like take baby steps. Really. That's what no I problem, would do. no problem. Yeah, I wouldn't just throw myself in it. But, but do you have uh, like Muslim friends and stuff like this? Yeah. Okay, it's good to speak to them. And I ask them like to direct you like to trustworthy, uh, knowledgeable people who can advise you. Yeah. We'll give you something to read as well. Yeah, one of my friends, uh, she is a Muslim. She's devoted. She's very okay. So and um, I told her about this that I was feeling I and I kept because we used to go to school together. And she said, oh, you know, uh, for me, I feel like that's just Allah. Allah has a way to call in. Allah, Allah has a way in like calling people without being. And I feel like the reason why you feel like every time you listen to the Quran, yeah. you feel some peace and tranquility is because it's the path that you should actually be taking. And I said, oh, maybe I'm going to look into it. So she said she's going to send me some videos. Okay. So I can explain what it is, how it goes. But yeah, I do speak to them. Yeah, it makes sense. But just, just the main things. You believe God is one. You believe that we should live our life the way he wants. <laughs> And you believe that it's important, or not even important, it's a necessity that we have a connection with Him. Like, because we would say, for example, the human body, if, if I don't have food, if I don't have uh, water to drink, the worst that can happen to me is I can die. But if I don't know my Creator, and if I don't have a connection with Him, it's far worse than dying. Because then I'm going to be lost in this life and in the next. So that's the first thing. Then second is the sending of messengers. Do you think it's reasonable and it makes sense that he chose uh, people who are the best of people, the most trustworthy, the most honorable, to deliver his message? This what we say is reasonable. And then books, that he gave us books for us to follow. And then last is uh, the Day of Judgment. Do you think it makes sense to have a Day of Judgment where people are, people who, the truth comes to them, they accept it, they try their best. Even though we have shortcomings, they try their best to follow it that they will be rewarded by the mercy of God. Not they deserve it, but by the mercy of God. And a person, if the truth comes to them, but out of arrogance, they reject it, that that person will have to face consequences. That's, that's, the, base, that's the basis of Islam. Like me, you can see I'm English. I became Muslim when I was 19. But it's for these reasons, because it's so simple, so straightforward, it's not complicated or strange. So. I will just give you a Quran and then some things to read. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Just give me one moment. I will say, okay. Yeah, so uh, this is the English Quran and then some basic leaflets. Yeah. But we're here every Saturday. Thank you. 
I don't live here, I live in Sutter. Okay, no problem. Oh, my mom lives there, but yeah. <laughs> if you stay in contact with your friends, and you know in Islam, you can ask any question, and Islam will have the answer. It's possible I don't know, or it's possible your friend doesn't know, but they can find out for you, or we can find out for you. Okay, madam? Thank you very much. No problem, it's been a pleasure talking to you. No problem, it's our pleasure. Okay, take care.